<laughs> no, it can't be true. <laughs> Tonight, the Lord of the Manor is away and we're alone and free to do as we please. <laughs> One day I'm going to have a house like this and I'm going to be just like him and have servants to serve me. <laughs> Victoria, I'm hungry. Get me some soup. Of course. <laughs> Caroline. My bed is ready. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you, stable boy, prepare the horses. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Catherine, you must go see Grandma. I know. Toby, you will come with me. Unfortunately, I can't. I have to clean the stable. I'll be back soon. Finally alone. really short like flashes of someone's face but now they're just getting longer and longer. Today I saw a vision of two girls betraying their husbands. It's really really weird. That's really strange. Yeah. But anyway where's Vincent today? Oh he just left to see a friend. Okay. down to the ruins today and take a look around, take some pictures. So I'll see you guys later. Okay. Mm. Be careful. Okay. Sean, you can go down to the white beach. There's a surprise for you. What surprise? What do you mean? Don't worry. Barbara will never know this. I think I know what you mean. Okay, I just finished breakfast and I go. La, la, la. This must be the bedroom. This must be where they found the body. You betray me. You stole the love of my life. 
This was a surprise. Do you like yeah, this surprise? Yes, I do. Sean, you've got to help me. That man Norton, he was innocent. It was the youngest sister who killed those people. She buried Toby's body here in the ruins. You have to help me go and dig them up and reopen the case so you can clean them all tonight. Okay, okay, I will help you, but we do it tomorrow. Today you have to relax. You are too excited. joining us for dinner tonight. He's not here. Actually, he left this morning and he has not come back yet. I tried to call him a few times, but his telephone is off. Oh, okay. But don't worry, he will come later, I'm sure. Okay. What's all that noise over there? There must be a party or something. It seems so, yeah. late now and my brother is not here now I'm getting really worried you don't have to be he's a big boy you wake up tomorrow and he'll be here with Sarah you'll see the night out somewhere visiting islands can we go now please can we go honey you go I just wait a little bit longer for my brother we meet there okay okay but remember what I told you yesterday straight up the road and past the White House okay okay I'll see you there see you there be careful Anybody home? Hello? Yes! Sorry, sir. 
But I'm lost. I'm looking for the ruins. The ruins? Over there. That way? Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. You. You've been following me ever since I got on this island. I know who you are. I'm not scared. You're Jeremy, the last living relative of the Jenkins family. You escaped from a psychiatric hospital seven years ago to come to this place where it all happened. I think you must know that Norton is innocent and it was your grandmother who killed those people and buried Toby. My husband is coming to help me find the body, reopen the case, and clear Norton's name. Do you understand? I said, do you understand me? You bitch! We hid this secret for two centuries. And now you, you want to take the honor of my grandmother? My girl! It's over. It's over. It's over, Ronnie. Are you okay? You're hurt. No, it's nothing. It's okay. Guys, I'm really sorry about what happened to you. And it's my fault because if I hadn't put you involved with that guy, then he wouldn't have tried to kill us all. But at least the magazine, like the article I wrote for them. Cool. Don't worry, honey. It's over. No problem. Yeah. Well, where's Sarah? Is she, is she okay? She's okay. She's sleeping down in the cabin. I go with her. The magazine loved my article. They've reopened the case, and apparently it wasn't two sisters that were murdered. It was one sister and a friend. I'm just glad I've cleared Norton's name. But the best thing is, they want to send me to Africa now, to the island of Mayotte, to investigate and write an article on something that happened over a hundred years ago with a man that murdered his wife. Oh no, not again. Did you forget? That man almost killed us. No, no, this is not dangerous this time. Listen, come. Over a hundred years.